a Category 2 hurricane now, but even though it's weakened just a little bit, it's going to have a serious impact on North and South Carolina. In the meantime, Southern New England now starting to see some of the rough surf from Florence, even though it's several hundred miles away. Julian Lima live in Charlestown this morning with more. Well, Patrick, the storm is expected to make landfall sometime late tonight or early tomorrow morning. It's expected to bring historic storm surge flooding to the Carolinas and damaging winds. However, here at home, we're not going to feel Florence's effects on land, but we will at sea. I want to show you some of the waves here in Charlestown. They're bigger than they normally are, and it's only expected that they'll keep getting bigger as Florence inches its way to shore. Now, we spoke to a woman who lives right down the road here. She walks by the water every morning. She estimated the biggest swells this morning were eight feet tall. She says even though the water is warm and comfortable this time of year, now is not the time to go swimming. People hoping to squeeze in a late season beach day should be aware the large waves formed by Florence are increasing the risk for dangerous rip currents. These waves are big, but they will get bigger. I have seen them bigger. You don't want to go in this because just going up to about your knees, you can feel the current doing a figure eight around your legs, and that's that's your warning. Don't go any farther. And adding to the danger, there are no more lifeguards at state beaches this year. So again, while Florence is brewing to our south, it is a good idea for those of you hoping to squeeze in a last minute beach day. Stay out of the water and stay safe. For now, reporting live in Charlestown, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.